This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. I don't know if you can see, look at that sign that says uh, Einfart on it. And uh, on the top are our little sparrows. Look at that. I'm going to feed them first. It's zero outside. It's freezing. Oh, here comes Seymour. And I have a, a real treat for the little birdies. The uh, last of the fish that my friend gave me. I cooked it up this morning. And they're having their little fish today. In their little thing. So, yeah. Things are going to be a little tight tonight. Uh, Brian didn't get paid for his English lessons all of November. So we're very short. And the uh, vet bills, it's very, very short. It's a good thing that I stock up on supplies. Because when I run out of money, <laughs> uh, there's always food in the house to eat. <laughs> and there's always, uh, there's always something for the birds that I can scrape up to feed them. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's very tough this month. It seems to me, <laughs> every time Christmas rolls around, it's, uh, it's always very tight in this household. Um, I guess because Christmas costs, uh, costs more money. I, I don't know what to say. So, let's see what we got here. At least this morning, we're getting a good portion. I will go, I have enough to buy a bag of grain today. I will do that. And uh, a friend gave us a gift card and with that gift card, I will go buy some supplies for the, for the birds. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's very tight. But you can never, you know, you can never hear these things. If you don't, if you don't have a job and you're not working, then that's what, uh, that's what happens. And I've never been able to get a job in my career here because I was always told, even though I was in my early 50s, that I was too old. I don't know what to say. But it's been very, very tough these last years. And uh, that's why I need to go back to the States because I need to work. Um, anyway. You throw this down here for the little pigeons here. Oh, what's this here? And the plastic? We don't want that. Now, I know Seymour. See what else we got here. Some walnuts, not a full bag, but. Yeah, he's. The Seymour's telling everybody that to uh, go away. Make room for me, okay? Is my, uh, put this down here. Seymour's getting himself ready. Look at that. Oh, and here's our little guy. Here's our little black-headed girl, the one with the bands on his little foot. <laughs> Quite a lot of cat food. Mealy was very active last night. Now, let's see what they make of this here. See what Seymour makes of this, right? We got fish in there, right? Fish. Get in there, Seymour. Seymour definitely got some eggs. Did he get some fish? Come on, Seymour. Get in there, Seymour. Get your fish. Oh, Seymour, get in there. Oh. Look at those silver gulls and the mule gull. They're just being hammered.
by those uh, by those blackhead girls. The smell of fish is just uh, driven them a bit crazy. So uh, yeah, our crows are getting in there and getting their nuts, and the pigeons are after those little seed blocks. But look, look at those gulls. Crazy about that fish in there. Unbelievable. No one can get in there. Yeah, well, that's a real treat. That's what they love most. That's what they love most. So, um, anyway, uh, oh gosh. I want to thank you for all your wonderful comments. Yeah, it's quite an extraordinary thing what happened on Sunday with Seymour. The fact that Seymour understood that I was coming back, something I never do. I never forget the eggs, but I never leave and then come immediately back. I never do that. I've never done that. Um, but in this case, I forgot Seymour's eggs. And that's, he's dependent on those eggs. That's his food every day. And the fact that he waited here, he knew I was coming back. Think about that, how extraordinary that is. I just, I can't get over that. But there's absolutely a connection between animals and people. If you, if you open your mind and heart to them, uh, somehow you can communicate telepathically or whatever you want to call it but somehow Seymour knew he should have just flown off and waited for dinner but he didn't he waited there on that ramp because he knew I was coming back and I told him in my mind that I was coming back I kept repeat I actually actually verbally said it as well out loud but I also thought it uh, you have to think, you have to wonder, don't you? You have to wonder about that. Anyway, um, this is DC Danton Crow Crusader. I think I have a couple cashews left. Let's, uh, let's see if we can spread those out here. Just a couple. Let's see if I can give them to that little guy who's waiting over here. Get in your little guy. He got one. He got one. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And our little sparrows have their little seed there. So we managed to get these birdies under tough circumstances. We managed to get them something to eat. Let's see. We have, we have this here. I have to save that for the night. Okay. Because there's, there's uh, the last of the grain is out there. And I'm going to head and get a bag right now. Okay. This is DC Danton Crow Crusader wishing you a great, uh, great Tuesday. Countdown to Christmas, right? Today is already the 19th. So, five more days to Christmas Eve. Six more days to Christmas. Well, as Americans, as we celebrate Christmas on the 25th. This is DC Dan and Crow Crusader. Love your birds. Uh, take care of yourself, and I shall see you. Uh, I shall see you later today. This is DC Dan and Crow Crusader. Over and out.